This video is going to be about the Triton ICP test that I developed 2012 for the reef keeping industry and it changed reef keeping quite a bit since then. And it comes in two versions. So one is a single test and then the other one is a four pack we call it, which is actually a bulk version of it, a little bit more affordable. Also, both of them test the same things, so the parameters tested are kind of from lithium to silver, um, all the trace and macro elements, there's also fluoride, chloride and salinity. Chloride and salinity will be calculated, but still very usable for your aquarium. So let's have a quick look inside one of these boxes, what you can expect when you buy one test of us. And that's very easy, so we have the bag with um, obviously the three vials in there that you send to us, three containers you fill with your water. And you also have um, three barcodes. They're very important for you because that's how I identify or we identify your sample in the lab, right? We also will have a little sticker depending on where you are in the world. This is the address of the lab you will ship these samples to afterwards. What is also very important, what is inside, is a little manual. That's very important, I like this manual a lot because it already kind of tells you the order and what you need to do things to not forget anything. Because, like I say, it's very important for us to give you fast results and these protocols make sure that we can deliver them fast to you. And I will explain it to you. The first thing this manual says is that you should take water samples. And there is another thing on this manual too that I wanna actually talk to you about now is um, the registration part. So we have an online system that you need to have an account with us, right? So the first one, how to take a water sample. So the first thing you do is you take the, the containers out, the vials out. And what you do then is you open them up, go to your aquarium and you fill it and then flush it one time, flush it two times, flush it three times, and the fourth time you take the sample, you put the little lid on and this is ready to go. Then after that, the next part that is very important is putting the barcode stickers on. So what's very important is this is all the same barcode. So you obviously will use all three on all of the three vials. So you put them on this way, so actually like that, um, glue it on, never use it this way, won't work. So this is the way you put them on, exactly like the square, the white square that is actually on that container, on that wire. Then you can go on and um, log in. So every aquarium you created, more, most of you will have one aquarium created. Go to the connect barcode button and then you will see an area where it said connect barcode. And what you put in there is that little code that is above that barcode. Please make sure you have all the capitals right and stuff. And then you press connect barcode and you will be able to see also where it is at right now. So it's like it's on the way, then it arrives at the lab. This is when we scan it in the lab. And the next one would be it's actually done. So you get, you receive an email for the, you know, for the results being uploaded to your account. So pretty handy to know where your ICP test is. Um, if you have any issues, you contact us, we'll help you, right? So that said, your barcode is connected now. Everything is identifiable for us and you can ship this whole bag back to us. And it would be really good if you choose to ship it in that box. So now that you've shipped the tests away, follow me into the lab. I will show you what will happen with your tests down there. You have sent your test away and we received it here and that's actually an ICP machine that tests your water samples. And then what happens is we scan them before we put them into the machine. The lab technician will put all the tests in to this auto sampler. The machine will run for some hours and finish the test results up and then it will push all these results up to me so I can take them and quality control them the last time for you. And that's very important. So every test that Triton does is overlooked by me still right every test so it's very important because this quality control is the key to our success combined with the speed that you have when you have a lab in your country this is an unbeatable tool for reef keeping right so as soon as i upload your results you will receive the most important thing the results on your account so let's go upstairs and get that sorted i'll show you how it works upstairs in the office see you there
Now that you waited for a bit and you got your results finally, after all the quality control, the results are ready to display on your account. So you go on your account right away and the first thing you will see is actually that the recent test will always be displayed at the top. You can click just on the recent test and it will carry you towards your test results right away. So the main thing that you'll see right away on your test results is that we have a habitat-based system. We need to know what type of aquarium you have, what corals you care, because it's all different. They need different things. And one of the main things we do here at the GBR scientifically is finding out about that habitats the corals are coming from and what they need in this habitat. So our recommendations are based on what corals you keep. The first thing you see is choose your habitat, right? And that means that you choose what kind of coral you keep. Like is it more SPS from the outer reef or is it a mixed reef, LPS dominant, a fish only, a soft coral dominant. So all these things you can choose and what happens then is all these recommendations on all this kind of intelligent system will adapt to give you the best result based on your corals you keep. So that's one thing that is very important. The other thing that comes up in the dashboards is choose a problem if you have a problem, right? So because this test is done to kind of help you solving issues with an aquarium. When you have an issue, you should also tell us about it because also that will change the approach of what you dose or what you need to do help-wise which I show you in a second, right? But these two informations, these two core informations about your aquarium are very much needed for us to give you the most advanced recommendations we can, right? So right now we have no issues, but you can choose things like cyanobacteria, RTN, STN, poor growth, poor color, and the computer will kind of use this information to give you the best individual kind of recommendations. Let's say move down now, because then the other things in that dashboard are more like sharing your analysis, um, mainly sharing your analysis, so getting PDF documents or you know CSV documents for like you know having it at home but you also have a URL to share you also have share your analysis you can do that on Facebook and stuff to help your mates to show off whatever you want to do but that's kind of um, that part of the dashboard so when you go down you actually enter the analysis itself the elements that we measure and in the first one is the unwanted heavy metals so everything you don't want to have the first thing is aluminium here and you see your analysis and also you will see the set point of it right main thing here is you can see right away what is important to you by checking this bar so we have a analog bar that shows you where you're at this is really helpful actually um, with this little bar it shows you you're possibly still in the greenish area of the yellow zone, right? So you know you're not panicking quickly. You actually see everything right away. And you can also see right away if there is anything dangerous or something you need to look at because that will be all in the red zone, right? So all these elements you can see, they're slightly different. So aluminium will be slightly different to, let's say, arsenic, which arsenic has only a little um, green zone because it's quite dangerous for your aquarium. And then you move on, there's all the other elements, the macro elements will be in one big block, that's the main part of your salinity. Um, and you will see they have two sides red, for example, some of them just one sided red, so zero would be absolutely okay. I really like this, but it is not the most helpful thing that we have in this system. So let's move on to the help tab, which is in my opinion, the most important tab in all this system, right? It is taking information from your issues, so from your problems, it's taking information from your habitat, and it will guide you through any problem that it knows to be critical for your aquarium, and it will show it first to you, right? So when you have heavy metals, or when you have copper in there, or stuff like that, it will appear here. And it's very important because that's a main thing that helps you with ICP testing. ICP testing is made for error correction to help you to improve your aquarium by doing less errors. It's not made for dosage, like from the start, okay? So 70, I would say 70% error correction, and that's the error correction part. So this is why this is right the next step after the analysis is shown to you, okay? So whatever is written in there, please do it. If you need help, ask us and we'll help you out. But it will be very precise, very, you know, informative for you to do something and let you know how to solve your issues, okay? 
Now let's move to the dose step. The dose steps obviously what you should dose in your aquarium after a test like that. So what is missing and what we see as beneficial. And that's very Im important too and very um, different based on habitats and what corals you keep too. So when you change your habitat, this will change, okay? And it also tells you what is important in the aquarium and it's what, what is not. So we have a star system, which is really cool. Um, and that system tells you, you know, by five stars that this is a very important parameter that you need to look at. Um, by four stars, and three stars and so on, it will show you degrading how much importance this element has to your habitat though. So this will change, right? So when you have calcium, for example, and you have SPS, this is a very important one, but it might not be that important for soft corals, right? And it will adapt to it and will recommend you to dose things according to importance to your habitat and to your issues, right? Very important here. So it's really cool because it tells you a lot of information about the element, it will tell you where um, the other one, the help desk, will tell you where the contamination is coming from to do something about it. And this one tells you why it's so important for your aquarium and you should do it or why it's not that important, actually. Um, and it will tell you exactly how much to dose. And that's a very important thing too. You don't need to put anything in any spreadsheet or whatever. This system will tell you everything from the start to the end. Um, you do an ICP test, it will know everything about your aquarium and it will tell you exactly what to do, which is very, very helpful to the most of the customers we have, to the most people around the world, because it's making them very, very successful. And by doing this, you know, you can dial things into two star level or one star level, which is not that important, but it gives you a little bit for the guys that are really pros, the little bit extra that you actually want from your aquarium. Let's move on to the products that are actually linked to that um, dosage thing beforehand. And they are really, really cool too, because right away they will also tell you, based on your habitat, which one is important for you to buy. So the product section is actually our products that are shown up and recommended you to buy right away. There are some of them having an important label on the corner. That's the ones that we really would like you to see to buy and add. And then there are some other ones that are actually, um, you know, it's up on you if you want to buy them. They're not that important, so you can leave them out and buy them next time, but you, you know, recommended would be maybe buying some of them if you have any issues with maybe coloration or whatever, you do it and you test them out, right? But it's not forcing you to buy anything, it's just a list of products, so you don't even need to do your own list based on whatever results you get. You get the list from us right away. In some countries, we have our own shop systems, and then you could actually go on the corner and choose US, Germany, Mexico, for example, and put these products right away into your basket and buy them. This is it for, for the products itself and the, and the data and the dose. But what is really cool also is we have a visual tab. And that visual tab is something for maybe a bit more advanced people um, that have done a lot of tests with us. So when you do a lot of tests with us, all these tests will actually be archived. So you will have them all in our system all the time. And you can choose different elements, right? So you can choose an element and track it over time. Because the trend of an element is also very important for you. You know, you can see, for example, how good you managed your phosphate or how good the system told you to manage the phosphate by seeing it's dropping from a high level to a low level over, let's say, six months, right? Because you don't want to have it dropping really quickly too. That's also a thing. You can see if you had contamination at one point or do you have contamination every month in the same year or something like that. You know, so you, you track things down. That's pretty useful. Uh, a lot of people use that uh, tool, like in public aquariums and stuff. And that's actually what you receive when um, you test with us. And I think it's actually visible that very important part is the knowledge we gained over that 16 years we're doing this um, as the inventors of all of this. And we kept going, so we're now at the Great Barrier Reef analyzing a lot of seawater to find what is really beneficial for which habitat and stuff like that. And that's all the knowledge we put inside this system. And that's knowledge that is IP to Triton and we give you when you buy a test like that. So it's not just, you know, data, a data set that we, we throw at you. We help you with real knowledge from real professionals. We have a lot of good people working at Triton around the world and they help all to build this system, make it better and better and better over the years.